I want to highlight in this video a specific feature of the grid and that's that every signal inside of the grid is actually a stereo signal and this gives you some interesting possibilities. So let's take a pitch module here. You can def define some kind of pitch inside of the grid and let's use an oscilloscope here. Let's go in here. You can see when we change the pitch here, the signal inside of the oscilloscope changes, which makes sense. But then we got some kind of feature inside of this oscilloscope here, and this is the stereo button. And if you enable this, you can see um, the second input check is actually disabled and we get here the right channel, okay? So now what we can do is we can actually split this signal here, which is a stereo signal. And we use a stereo split, and a stereo merge. So we can split the stereo signal into two mono signals, left side and right side. And we can use a transpose on that. So now we can change the right side to a different pitch than the left side. The left side here is orange and the right side is white, right? So now we only change the right side here, but we can also change the initial pitch. You can see the left side goes also up with the right side. So it's basically combined, right? Uh, so we only dial in here difference to the right channel, um, to the right pitch signal. So this is basically a specific feature of the grid because everything inside of the grid is a stereo signal and you can use a stereo split and a stereo merge to actually um, yeah, uh, split them and then treat them differently, okay? You can do a lot of things with this um, and this is also why it's super hard to explain or to teach the grid because it's impossible to just make a video about the stereo split and then explain it in all kind of you know situations because you can use it in every situation the stereo split actually is only uh, there for splitting audio signals but inside of the grid you can split every signal into two separate signals and can then treat them differently and then recombine them here with the merge into one stereo signal and then use that so uh, because now we can change here basically the, the right channel differently, we can also use a transpose here on the left channel, of course, and can, you know, change the left side differently than the right channel. So now why should we use this, right? Because inside of the grid, also the oscillators itself are stereo oscillators. You can see this here with the uh, stereo detune feature, right? You can detune basically uh, the left side and the right side differently with this uh, if you actually enable this button, which means this oscillator is actually two oscillators. It's one oscillator for the left channel and one oscillator for the right channel. So we can use here and amplify the end and just go out. So we have a sound here, enable the stereo feature. And we can detune the left side from the right side. We can also use this pitch signal here and go into the oscillator. And if you have headphones on, you can hear that the left channel actually plays a different pitch than the right channel which is of course a bit distracting for the listener because if you have headphones on, it sounds super weird. Um, that's why in the last video, I also used here a stereo uh, split on the audio output. Um, so now because we have the left side completely different pitch than the right side, um, we want to use the mid signal actually. Um, I don't know if this is explained here. Um, middle content of the stereo input. So this basically means it's the, um, um, it's the combination of the left and the right channel together, or more or less what's not different than 
on the left and the right channels. This gives you basically a mono signal and sounds like this. Right? So it's basically a mono signal and you don't have a different pitch on the left side and then the right side. It's more like you have two uh, distinct sounds in a mono channel. So you can mix the left and the right channel together, kind of. But it's I think the mid channel is actually um, the sound or what's not different from the left and the right channel. I'm, I'm not sure how this is made here inside of the grid, but usually the mid channel is... Um, it's not just the left and the right channel together. It's just uh, what's not different, I think. Doesn't matter. Um, that's how I mix basically here the left channel, the right channel together, just using the mid output here to give to have basically a mono signal with two distinct sounds. So you can create basically a drone with this or a chord just with one oscillator. Um, Another thing is if you actually don't want to change the left channel from the right channel separately like this here, you can also say, um, let's delete this. Let's delete this here. And we know this is made, the split and the merge is made for audio and this is the side channel. The side channel is actually the signal that, that you get from from audio what's what the difference is from the left and the right channel right so side channel is the difference between left and right channel what's what's the difference what's you know um yeah and because we know that's how it works we can also say uh we want to put in let's say a transpose here on the side channel and then we can transpose to the side channel and you can see we can now change the left channel and the right channel at the same time in the opposite directions uh, because the side channel is the difference between left and right channel so when we dial in here difference we have a difference between the left and the right channel right so now we get basically the opposite pitch <laughs> So it's basically like yeah, detuning this here. So with this, we get basically um, 20 hertz positive on the one channel, on the right channel, I think, and then 20 hertz negative on the left channel. So it's basically the same thing as, as this here. So this is how you can do it here with the transpose and the uh, stereo split and merge. Um, because of this behavior, uh, we can also not use this only on pitch and audio, we can also use this on gates and we can use this on phase signals at the same time. So let's say you have an envelope here, right? And what you usually do is you trigger it with something. Let's say we use a trigger here. And because we know this is here a stereo signal, we can split this up. So we can say we want to use here a stereo merge. We go into the left channel and we use a different one here, of the right channel, right? And then we go into the envelope. So now we have basically two triggers at the same time. With the transpose we can change the pitch for the left chip for the left oscillator and the right oscillator differently and this one triggers the left channel and this one triggers the right channel so you can basically use one oscillator and play two sounds with two different triggers just with one setup Sounds a bit funny. <laughs> and I think you can also use a quantizer here. And instead of using the quantizer on two channels here, you just use it on the stereo signal. You 
can see the left channel and the right channel is quantized. And then you can also say um, we want to make um, a feedback. So we take a long delay here to actually make a feedback possible. We go out of the oscillator and back into the oscillator here yeah, with the face. So because we have on the left channel a different pitch than on the right channel, we can say um, stereo split, stereo merge. But we go with the left channel and the right channel here and with the right channel into the left channel. So we face modulate the left oscillator with the right oscillator. <laughs> so we have different uh, um, yeah, feedback loops there. Okay, so uh, this patch doesn't make any sense. I want to basically give you the idea how this works. So um, all these audio things in here, right? So under the, let's say, level category, it's not only for audio. You can also use this for pitch. So let's say you have a transpose here, right? That changes the pitch. You don't need to use the transpose. You can also exchange this here for gain, something like this. It's just multiplication, right? Or you can, uh, let's say, uh, bias here. That's probably better, right? You can use the bias. You can see it's just adding and subtracting basically from the signal. Um, so you can use everything for everything. That's why I always say it's hard to teach the, the grid because you can do basically everything that you want as endless infinite possibilities of creating uh, sounds or signal lines um, yeah so you can use everything for everything and um, here I basically used audio um, an audio module or two audio modules that actually used for splitting stereo signals uh, and merging stereo signals for pitch signals and you can also use it here for phase signals and for uh, gate signals or for trigger signals inside of the grid and actually make more out of your patch just by splitting up the signals and then you know um, use basically the stereo feature um, to create two different sounds with two different trigger behaviors and um, yeah it's possible um, it's not like um, you can't do it so this is something I want to highlight in this video to actually explain it to you Maybe I do a more compact video on my Bitwig guide channel in the future. Uh, let me know if you find this interesting or useful at all. And uh, leave a like if you like the video, of course. Subscribe to the channel and ask them some questions in the comments, actually. And that's always helpful for the um, algorithm on YouTube. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.